I remember performing at the cellar door, and there was an outdoor amphitheater, a Carter Barron amphitheater, that I think we would play in the summer that preceded the 1963 March on Washington. But that was an entirely different kind of an event. And now, a group of singers who have come to help express and song what this great meeting is all about. Peter, Paul, and Mary. That was an extraordinary moment in time in which we participated in something that really defined who we were going to be from 1963 until the present. At that march, we sang Blowing in the Wind and If I Had a Hammer, and indeed, we have since then seldom sung a concert without singing both of those songs. They're part of our heartbeat, you know. And now Peter Yarrow is trying to digest that he may have performed his last concert with Noel Paul Stuckey and Mary Travers after almost 50 years together. We are a family, and a family that loves each other very, very much and has been drawn together by the real challenge of Mary's being this very much medically challenged. He says the three will work together in the future, but likely not on a concert stage. He takes comfort in knowing that the music of Peter, Paul, and Mary will endure. It's not a popular form that will go out of style. Up the magic dragon. It will always be there in the summer camps. It will always be there in the churches and the synagogues. And it will always be there in the classrooms. Linking the idea of music with the efforts to create a better, more just world. Peter Yarrow says Peter, Paul, and Mary have tried to perpetuate the spirit passed on to them from the Weavers, Pete Seeger, and Woody Guthrie. The dragon lives forever, but not so little boys. The dragon does live forever, but there comes a time not just for passage in the sense of something gone, but for the picking up of the torch of the next generation. And that's exactly what happened with Jackie Paper. He got married, he had a child, she went to Honolulu, and that child played with Puff. I hope that this music will be part of the lexicon of communication and caring. Neil Ogenstein, 103.5 FM and WTOP.com.